Hey there, happy Tuesday, welcome to Technability. Today is August 6th and we have iOS 7 Beta 5, it's been released. Uh, it kind of came out fairly quick. I thought that it would have been a little bit longer before they released Beta 5. But here you guys go, it's out, I just installed it, let's take a look. Alright, first thing, let's go ahead and look at the lock screen here. Okay, you can see nothing really changed on the lock screen end. Of course, you have the uh, control center here on the bottom. You have the notification center up top. Swiping over gets you to your alls and miss tab. Uh, you swipe your finger to the left and you get nothing. You swipe your finger to the right, you unlock the device. Swipe up from here, you can get to the camera. So let's just go ahead and get out of here. Okay, so first thing uh, I noticed right off the bat is that again, and I emphasize this in every beta build that they release, it feels a little bit faster. It just feels a little bit smoother, a little bit faster, a little bit more responsive. Everything seems to open a little bit, ever so slightly quicker. Uh, you could see just by opening the uh, settings or FaceTime or speed test, for example, uh, Safari, everything is instant. And of course, if I double tap here, I get my multitasking pane in which you can close up to three at one time because that's how many shows that's the most that you could see upon the screen so let's go ahead and get back to our home screen and look at the camera here okay so again nothing changed on the camera end you still got video photo square and panorama of course you have your filters here so if I was to click on these filters it'll show me the various filters that I have to take a specific picture so let's just go ahead and go back here Okay, again, you can see how fast that is. All right, if I click on one of the pictures, I have various sharing options here. Let me show you guys the sharing options. All right, so I click here. Get my various sharing options, which, um, again, third-party apps don't integrate with this. You get what Apple gives you. Uh, mail, Twitter, oh, Twitter's integrated now. Twitter, Facebook, okay, uh, Flickr, messages, etc. Uh, you could use it as wallpaper, obviously. You could do multiple pictures at once. Exit out of here. Let's go back to the gallery. Okay. You can see if I just pinch in, I could do a such with the photos. That's still available. And if I just pinch in a such, I can close out of it. You can do the same thing upon any picture it is that you want to look at, basically. So you can see that nice little effect. Okay. Exit out of that. It's really quick. I mean, the speed again has improved, and they've been they've been improving the speed with each build. Uh, so nothing, you know, too shocking on that end. All right, let me go ahead and show you guys the messaging here. Okay, hey, how are you? Hey, buddy, what's going on? What are you doing today? Hey, buddy, what's going on? What are you doing today? And of course, you have gestures, so you could swipe. Uh, as such and go back. Uh, the gestures are consistent across the board. Let's say for example I go to settings here, I go to general, I go to Siri, I could change the voice to, uh, to male voice and let's actually showcase that here, change it to male. I could basically just gesture my way back. Um, these icons have changed. You can see how they're colorful and bright. Uh, that's new up top here. Uh, so that's new. Okay so let's get out of here. Let's test out Siri. Hey Siri! Greetings. How are you today? I'm happy to be alive. Siri, increase my brightness. I made it a bit brighter. Siri, turn on Bluetooth. Okay, I turned on Bluetooth. Siri, can you turn off Bluetooth? Okay, I turned off Bluetooth. Can you set a reminder at 6 p.m. that I need to talk to John? Here's a reminder for today at 6 p.m. Can you cancel that reminder? Okay. Can you open Safari? Open Safari. I gotta admit, it's pretty... I mean, it's very much improved. Not pretty much improved, very much improved. Uh, Safari, obviously, uh, f for the most part, stayed the same. Super fluid pinch zoom, 
super fluid scrolling, no checkerboarding whatsoever. Uh, you can see the tabs here are as such. If I swipe away, if I swipe my finger to the right, nothing happens. If I swipe my finger to the left, I actually close out of that. Okay, so let's get out of there. Control center, uh, nothing different on that end. Not customizable, you got that inertia effect. Nothing different on the end of the notification center, which is also customizable by removing the widgets within the center, stock, weather, etc. Uh, we could see that reminders is the same. Okay, notes, uh, nothing changed on the notes end. Folders are still the same. You take an icon, you drag it into another icon, and you've created yourself a folder. You can see how the folders look here. Okay, nice. Let's go ahead and run Temple Run, see how third-party apps, games, run on this uh, Beta 5 build. You see Game Center right there. Perfect. No problems on the game's end. See Temple Run. Runs perfectly fine. Okay. Right, let's exit out of that. Super quick to exit. Is Bejeweled working? They fixed it, thank you. Okay, so Bejeweled wasn't working with previous beta builds, now it is, so that's great news. Bejeweled is working, I'm a big Bejeweled fan, so happy to hear that. All right, let's exit out of there. All right, let's see if YouTube sharing is currently working, because again, that wasn't working uh, either with the previous beta builds. Let's just go to uploads here on my uploads. Okay, let's click on the video here. And you can see you can access the notification center and you can access the control center while you're in YouTube. All right, so let's share. Let's see if sharing works here. So message. Nope, still doesn't work. Okay, so the sharing still doesn't work. You can copy the link. See, it just closed out of it. Okay, so that's probably something that the software is going to have to resolve. We'll see. Hopefully with beta 6. Calendar, nothing changed on the calendar end. All right, so that's, again, stayed the same. The clock. Similar stopwatch timer, work, uh, world clock. The app store looks the same, which I don't particularly like because when you search for an app, uh, you only get one, um, you get one showing per screen, which is, you know, I mean, I'd rather they put it in a list, but you can see you get pretty much one showing. I mean, you can kind of see what's going on there, but not really. So nothing changed on the end of the app store. Um, let's go ahead and show you guys the dialer here. Okay, you can see the dialer again, the state the same, nothing changed on the dialer end. Music, of course. iTunes, nice looking. Functional, very functional. Everything else has basically uh, stayed the same. I mean, if you guys want to look at Google Ma or Apple Maps here, you can see Apple Maps, okay? Functions just fine. 3D mapping, of course. You know, you can do a such, pinch zoom, you get the 3D maps. Um, so, again, everything stayed the same on the end of Apple Maps. Uh, just in terms of functionality, again, and they keep improving upon this, it just feels better. Feels a lot better. Definitely de uh, feels a little bit more fluid as they've been, you know, basically implementing system uh, and UI resolves and fixes upon each beta build. So it's definitely improved, and uh, I hope they keep coming. I mean, it seems like with each beta build, it gets better and better on this end. So definitely excited about that, and I'm really content with beta 5. So far it feels like it's ready for prime time. It's not, you know, slightly, it still needs a few other minor bug fixes, but for the most part, it feels like it's almost ready for prime time. I'm using, I'm using it as a daily driver on the iPhone, so I know a lot of you are as well, so it's not really that big of a deal in terms of the minor issues, uh, which again, will be resolved soon enough. Okay, uh, thank you guys for watching Technability. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and check out www.technability.com. Got some great stuff going on there, guys. How-tos, reviews, comparisons, podcasts, and more. Again, I'm Baird. You're watching Technability. Thank you and have a safe Tuesday.